Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and kittens, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It, it's uh, I'm I'm very happy today. Uh, we we knew it was coming. They've already been talking about it, and of course, this video is in regards to Fetch AI. They they've already they made the votes. All right, that this happened. The proposal happened. It passed. We knew it was coming, but uh, waiting, waiting, waiting for uh, for the mighty Fetch to show up on osmosis, and it finally has now. It's not on traditional osmosis, it's on the osmosis frontier. And if I had to make a guess, I want to say that this is probably going to be the way uh, going forward for new assets, new L1s that are making it onto Osmo. They're going to start here. They're going to start at the frontier, and uh, once uh, they're fleshed out, I, I see them uh, ending up over on osmosis legacy. We'll call it that, osmosis legacy. So... Uh, Per the thumbnail, look, man, this is a step-by-step -step video on how to buy it, stake it, everything from osmosis. I am a big fan of Fetch. I've been talking about Fetch for a good year. Uh, so many good projects. There are just so many good uh, things that are happening inside of Fetch AI from, from uh, their uh, social media platform, uh, virtual twins. I mean, they just they keep cranking it out. And, uh, oh, Mobix, I guess I should mention Mobix, even though this isn't uh, exactly a thing yet, but it's something that's in the works. If you're not sure with that, uh, what that is, you know what, when they get closer to it, I'll certainly uh, talk about it. But let's go ahead and just get into it and buy some fetch and stake some fetch, and we're going to do it all from Osmosis, and we're going to do it all from Kepler. So uh, this is uh, Osmosis Frontier, so it's frontier.osmosis.zone as opposed to app.osmosis.zone. And I need to get some money. So we're going to go ahead to the uh, to the Kepler, and I'm going to see if I got anything loose. I really should have checked this before uh, before I made the video. But it's not terrible to see the entire process. So I have some uh, SIF chain available, so let's just go ahead and uh, claim it. This is just straight staked on, uh, on Kepler, 181.53% for what I consider just an absolute excellent token. So... Uh, if, if you're not familiar with SIF chain, we, we've done a video or two. So once you uh, claim it and you have it sitting here available, then you just need to come uh, down here to SIF chain, if I can find it on here somewhere. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and deposit. Uh, we'll do we'll just deposit 100 of it. And we will pay the insanely high gas fee of one penny to get it from Kepler over to Osmosis Frontier. Now, once we get it to Osmosis Frontier, and it'll... Got to wait for a, a quick refresh, guys. For I want to make sure that it shows up. Uh, once you push it over to here, our transaction is still pending. That's don't freak out. All right, this is not a thing. This is just kind of how it works. It's uh, fast, but not exactly lightning speed. So we have our SIF chain. We'll kick in one more refresh just to make sure that it's showing up. And oh, look, there's a there's a SIF chain right there. So. We have uh, our $9.51. We're going to come over here. Now, we're swapping for fetch. So this is great because I didn't think I'd be able to do this. And I, I didn't know how quick it was going to be here. But here it is. So we're going to swap the Rowan. We're going to do a max. And we're going to have 28 fat coming out the other side. For this uh, trade, it's going to cost us exactly zero. So we're now swapping the Rowan for native fetch. And the transaction was successful. So if we come back over here, we should see it. And, oh, look, there's our fetch. So $9.37 worth of fetch. And we're going to go ahead and withdraw this now because you. this is great. You can do whatever you, uh, you need to do with it here. I didn't even see if they have any liquidity pools that are available for fetch yet. But uh, if they're not, they will. I mean, this their Osmo is real, real good about uh, getting the LPs out there. So just let me take a quick look. Again, this is something I should have checked before I did the video, but you know what? Why the hell? Let's just go ahead and get through it. Uh, all right. So no LPs yet, but I assure you that they're <laughs> I assure you that they're coming because uh, something had to make this transaction possible. So let's. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll check this out over on my own time. Let's go ahead and withdraw it and just straight stake it. So we're going to take our fetch. We're going to withdraw the max. Uh, yeah, all of it. And we will pay the crazy high gas fee of zero cents. And we're going to move it out from here out to our Kepler wallet. Now, once it's on our Kepler wallet, this is in the Fetch Hub on our Kepler wallet, which you will see right here. 
And I am sorry, guys, if I'm going fast. The great thing about YouTube is that there's a rewind feature. So once we have it up, then we're going to come over here to Fetch Hub, and you're going to see that we now have 37.5-ish Fetch sitting right here. Now, to stake it nice and easy, we're going to come over here, and we're going to go to Block Explorer. Now, this is browse-fetchhub.fetch.ai, and it's going to show you the list of validators. Once you're here, first step, you got to connect your wallet. So this is going to connect directly to my Kepler version of my of my wallet. You can see ETCD. So if we came back over here to Kepler and you see the last four of my uh, Fetch Hub wallet address on Kepler, ETCD. So we know we're connected to the right wallet. Now, the stake is nice and easy. Pick your validator and you hit the stake button and you say how much. I will stake it, but... Uh, I want to talk about validators. It is important for you to know who your validator is. Uh, all of it, the information is available. All right, you can you just need to go look at uh, look them up. Cosmos Station. You're gonna see them everywhere. You can see them all over Cosmos. I mean, they got validators on every single token. Uh, but every now and again, you're gonna get some sketchy ones. All right, you are absolutely going to get some sketchy validators. So I think it's in your interest to make sure that you are actually staking on a solid validator. Good uptime. See if they give you slash protection. Do some looking. All right, you are basically giving them your money to hold and utilize on your behalf. So it seems to me that you should do some research into your, uh, into your validator and saying all that i'm going to do absolutely none i'm going to pick one blindly because uh you know it's just a few bucks so i'm not really sweating it uh i i won't stake on a zero percent commission i don't think that you have enough uh, vested into it that uh it's not in your interest to really do anything you're taking nothing but uh let's uh let's do a uh a low one we're just going to take one percent so we'll come here to blockscape we're going to hit the stake button uh, how much do you have available? I have 37. How much do you want to stake? We'll stake 35. We're going to hit the stake button. We're going to pay the uh, crazy high fee of zero FET, and we're going to stake this money. So now this is coming from your Kepler wallet. It's still tied there. It's still yours. You're not losing anything. But it's going to, over here, and Blockscape is going to be utilizing uh, the fetch on my behalf. So once that's done, you see that it's approved and it came in. So... Uh, if you want to see it after that, you're going to come up here, click that little button right there, and it's going to take you over to here, and it's going to show you your validators. It's going to show you how much you have on there, uh, the rewards, what you can do with them, the accumulating rewards, and so forth. So when it comes time to claim, all you got to do is come over here and hit that button, man. I ain't going to do it because this is, you know, hundreds, one hundredth of a thousand, but I'm sure you get the rub. And you come down here and you can see your delegations. This is how much you have where. Now, again, guys, I'm a big fan uh, of Fetch. I cannot wait for my virtual twin to become available. Uh, I think they're doing some real neat stuff over in, uh, in for the decentralized social media. I think it's a great idea. I like what they're doing over there. They just have a lot coming up. So in between having a lot coming up, and being just a good solid idea it is a product i like to invest in products and because it is now so easy to purchase it to stake it to manipulate it to do whatever you want with your fetch i i, I it's a good day for me and i think it's a great day for the uh for the fetch community we'll see uh that's all i got guys if you have any questions comments or concerns my email is right there and i i I, I try to answer every email, but I'm in email jail right now. On my own system, I'm in email jail. Apparently, I'm the administrator. I don't know how to fix it. So, uh, you know what? Maybe Fetch knows. So, I'll, I'll send an email to the Fetch folks and just tell them, let the machine go and, and fix my email. Uh, but I, I assure you, I do uh, read them. I'm just having some trouble responding right now. So, you know what? Don't give up hope. But that's all I got, guys. Until next time, please stay safe. Please be smart with your money. Go fetch. Great day and cheers.